Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 Teaser Trailer Explained The first volume of Season 4 of Stranger Things has come to a close, and it was something special. With a final episode that provided so many answers to us, and set up the second volume perfectly, we were left with a small teaser trailer that just like the final episode gave us an insight into what was to come. With that, I thought I'd break down the teaser trailer and see all that we can get from it. So let's get into it. Here is Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2, Teaser Trailer Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The teaser opened up with the line, It is over 11. You have freed me. As we saw one of the closing shots of Season 4 Volume 1, of Eleven looking into the gateway of the Upside Down that she'd just created. It then followed up with a shot of Brenner after walking into the scene of the massacre and noticing the crack in the wall where the gateway was now closed. The voice didn't sound like the Vecna that we heard during Volume 1. However, as Number 1 would be in his earliest form in the Upside Down, it could well be him entering her mind from beyond the Upside Down for the first time, claiming how Vecna is now in a world of his own where he can rule with the morals that he believed in. Either that, or I think it could potentially be one of the final lines in Volume 2, where I believe they'll defeat Vecna and will see the Mind Flayer in its true form, which could be speaking and saying how it's been freed. After those first two shots, we had a shot of Robin, Nancy and Steve in the Upside Down, standing outside of the Creel house, which means that it now looks as though Nancy is definitely going to make it out of the nightmare state that we saw her in. During the closing episode of Volume 1, they could be going to the Creel house due to the revelation that Nancy had when Vecna was informing her of his origin story and that he is in fact Henry Creel. We then went on to see a shot of Hopper looking like he'd escaped from the prison, but is now in a room that's still in the facility. It looked as though they had creatures from the Upside Down kept in glass containers, almost taxidermied and on display. One definitely looked like a demogorgon. This showed us that they have likely been in the Upside Down more than anticipated and have dealt with and studied many creatures too. We then had a shot of Dustin and what looked like the back of Eddie looking as though they climbed through the gateway in Eddie's trailer to enter the Upside Down. As they stood there almost keeping guard, they could be guarding and watching the gate and preventing anything from coming through, keeping the real world from any creatures such as Demobats. After that, we had Murray and Hopper walking around the corner in the facility where it looked as though the Demogorgon was on show, and it looked as though the Mind Flayer was being held in a box that was on display. The line, you can't stop this now, was being uttered as this shot was zooming in closer and closer into the creature inside of the box. It almost looked like a black fog, but amongst it, I feel you could definitely see tentacle-like things that are familiar with the Upside Down and are synonymous with the Flayer. So it begs the question, what is it doing there? We then had a quick succession of shots, one of Robin looking as though she was trapped amongst the tentacles in the Upside Down, and Steve and Nancy trying to save her, Max looking as though she was in the attic of the Creel house, and was trying to escape with the look of shock on her face. We know that Vecna resides in the attic, and it's been referred to as his mind, so she could be invading it and Vecna could be approaching. We had Murray looking as though he was staring directly into the opening of a gateway, due to the orange and black glare in the glasses. This would most likely be inside of the prison. However, there were some particles floating around, so he could be inside of the Upside Down and using a flamethrower. He could have taken one from the prison with him. We know that the creatures in the Upside Down don't like fire, so Hopper could have told them to take them with him. We also saw Lucas on the floor bleeding. I think the group that are on the hunt for the Hellfire Club have likely beaten him up due to the fact that they believe he's a traitor. It also didn't look as though he was in the Upside Down, due to the lack of particles in the air. We then also had Eleven, who looked as though she was using her powers for the first time outside of Project Nina, whilst it also looked like Vecna was claiming another victim, but I'm uncertain as to who it was down to the fact that we only got to see their bare feet. It was an exciting teaser trailer that's given us a lot to theorize about over the course of the next month. I can't wait to see how Volume 2 pans out and Season 4 eventually closes off. What do you think is going to happen? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.